Do you know, over 15,000 restaurant owners have used Appipi to make apps for their restaurant, food court or cafes without a single line of coding. What's interesting is that not only these apps help them in creating a space in the hearts and pockets of the customers, but also help them in increasing the sales and revenue. So what are you waiting for? Stay tuned with us to know how you can be a part of this billion dollar app industry. Hi guys, this is Abhishek from Team Appipi and here's the latest addition to explain in detail how we helped our user Jose to bring his restaurant business onto mobile devices. In our Ask Nappy session a little while ago, we discussed about the top Appipi features that you can use for a great restaurant app. But today, we will teach you how to integrate them into your own app. So, let's get started. Now that you have created a free app, log into your Appipi account. Go to My Apps, click on Manage and Edit option here. You will be redirected to a creator software area. Add Food Code page here and a page name. If you want, you can change the page icon from here. Now let's start with adding restaurant to your food code. Click on add restaurant button. Here you need to provide mandatory information such as restaurant name, email, phone number and address. You can also provide brief information about the restaurant in summary section. If you want to upload a restaurant logo, you can add it from add media section. You can also add restaurant images and videos from here. Now let's add some cuisines. You also need to provide the minimum order amount for every restaurant in your food coach app. Once you have provided all the information, click on save button. It will redirect you to the food coach dashboard. Click on manage menu to add restaurant menu. You can also select restaurant from here. Now let's create menu for the selected restaurant. For creating menu, you need to create new category. Click on add now, enter category name. If you want, you can enable or disable sorting order, change status and add category image from here. Once done, Click on save to continue. Under the category, you can add subcategory as well as products. As you can see, here I'm directly adding products. Click on add product. Enter product name, select product type, product product SKU number, and select whether the product is available for order or not. You also have the option to manage inventory. If you select yes, you need to enter product quantity. In case you select no, you don't need to provide product quantity. Next, enter product price and select product unit type. If you want, you can add a short description of the product. You can add product images and videos from media section. If you want to provide additional options for your product, click on product options. Enter product title like toppings, starters, etc. Select requirement, yes or no. Input type that is single choice or multiple choice and enter sorting order of the product. Please note, in multiple choice, you can set the limit for choices. That is, if you have provided five items in multiple choice, you can either allow users to choose all the five items or you can restrict them to two or three items in the multiple choice. Next, enter title value, price, sorting order and select price type. You can also add more rows by clicking on add row button. Once done, click on save button. It will redirect you to product page on your food code dashboard. Now click on manage orders. Here you can check the order history of any restaurant by order ID or date. Now let's check general settings section of your food code. In configuration settings, you will see all of the settings of the restaurant that you have added to your food code page. If you want, you can change the address, mobile number, delivery duration, pickup duration and maximum delivery distance from here. You can also edit restaurant open time and customer servicing time from here. Various other information such as fax, cloud printer, SMS and contact can also be updated from this section. Once done, click on save to update the settings. Let's move to rule settings. If you want, you can add no discount rule from here. Next comes delivery tab. Here you can select rule type for delivery that is fixed or basis of distance. If you want, you can also add delivery charges from this section. For free delivery, you can tick mark the free delivery checkbox. If you want to provide 
free delivery based on distance or amount, you can enter the details in the respective fields. Here, I'm entering 300, which means if anyone places order above 300, he or she will get free delivery. Once done, click on save. In tax tab, you can add new tax by clicking on add new tax button. You can follow the same process for adding miscellaneous tax. Now let's go to coupons. Click on add new coupon. Provide necessary information and click on save to add coupons to your food code app. Now let's go back to configuration settings. Click on select restaurant and pick administrator. Please note only app administrator has the permission to set up payment method and delivery system for each restaurant. Once done, you can check and update the configuration settings of administrator. Go to advanced settings and enable delivery system. Now go to payment method and delivery or pickup information section. Select preferred delivery type, enter delivery duration, pickup duration and maximum delivery duration here. If you want, you can enable apply minimum order at pickup and apply online payment at pickup from this section. If you want to accept payment via PayPal Express or credit card via PayPal Payment Gateway or credit card over phone or credit card via Stripe Payment Gateway, you can tick mark the respective checkbox and provide necessary information to enable it. Once done, click on save to continue. Now go to language settings. Here you will see all the default text currently being displayed in your food code app. If you want, you can change the language settings text from here. Once done, click on save to continue. Let's move to cuisine section. Here you can add new cuisines by clicking on add new cuisine or change or update the existing cuisines. From coupon section, you can add new coupons into your food court app. In CMS pages, you can add terms and conditions and privacy policy for your food court app. Now click on manage delivery boy. Here you can see the list of delivery boys. If you want, you can add delivery boys from here. Click on add delivery boy button. Enter all the mandatory information such as delivery boy name, vehicle registration number, passport number, vehicle model name, phone number, etc. You can also upload delivery boy picture from here. Click on add document for adding delivery boy's vehicle and other documents. Once done, click on save to continue. You will be redirected to manage delivery boy dashboard. If you want, you can add another delivery boy or change the status of existing delivery boys from here. Now let's peek in import or export menu section. If you want, you can add the restaurant menu by uploading CSV file from this section. You can also export restaurant menu in CSV and XLS format from here. If you want, you can check or manage reports from sales report section. Click on review to see all of your customers feedbacks. That's it for now. If you found this edition useful, please don't forget to like, share and comment below. And to stay updated with more such awesome stuff, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon below.